Last week at the bar, I experienced Murphy's Law once again. You know, there are some cocktails that are never or almost never ordered. And amongst them, there's the Rusty Nail. I usually get an order for that once a year, maximum. But during my last shift, I got three different clients who ordered three Rusty Nail. And I got shocked. I mean, it made me think a little bit. There are some classic cocktails that are kind of forgotten. And there's probably a good reason for that. I guess they're not that good. I mean, they're okay, everybody knows about them, but they're kind of average and boring. And in that category, I believe there's the Stinger, and the Stinger, to my opinion, is on top of that list. I mean, it's very average. Cognac, creme de mint in a weird ratio, not that good. But I am sure there is a way to make a Stinger a delicious cocktail, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna make an elevated version of this cocktail. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So an elevated stinger, how would that translate? First, let's state what a real classic stinger is. An old classic cocktail created in the early 1900s that was two parts of cognac for one part of creme de mint. To my opinion, too much booze, too much mint flavors, completely unbalanced, I don't really like it. But cognac and mint goes really well together. So I decided I would rejigger it, I would incorporate some new stuff into it to make something very fancy and tasty. First, we have to make a house-made ingredient for the garnish. It's a flavored oil that will float on top of the cocktail for a beautiful look and some very interesting texture. So in a glass container, you will place one clove, one tablespoon of dried tarragon, the equivalent of a tablespoon of star anise pieces, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Then you will pour one quarter cup of almond oil and with an immersion blender, you will blend all that together. Then you will fine strain your mixture through a super filtering bag or at least four layers of cheesecloth. Then you can bottle it up and pour that into a pipette bottle because you need that pipette to make some drops on top of your cocktail for the garnish. So now that we have everything ready, we can jump into the cocktail and we will start with two ounces of cognac. And then we will add a quarter ounce of white creme de mint. And we're also gonna add a quarter ounce of Fernet Branca. This will enhance the mint in the cocktail, but it will also add a very interesting bitter flavor. And now to round this up and to add a little bit of texture, we will add five ml or one teaspoon of simple syrup. And lastly, we will add two dashes of Anish John Sarsaparilla bitters. I don't know if I pronounced this thing well, but what I can tell you for sure is that Sarsaparilla is a root that has a very strong medicinal taste with a little bit of vanilla and wintergreen. And this will go very well with all our ingredients in the cocktail. So we will go with two dashes of it. And now we can fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. And we're ready to strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And now for the garnish, we will add some drops of our flavored oil. And 
And lastly, we will add a beautiful star anise on top of which I added some edible gold dust. That's in honor of the creator of the stinger, Reggie Vanderbilt, that was actually an American millionaire. So we're gonna place the beautiful star anise on top of the cocktail in the middle of the oil ducts. And this is it guys, this is how I make my elevated stinger. Now, let's give it a try. Hmm, hmm. First thought on a cocktail, it has everything a stinger would have normally, but in a different ratio, the mouthfeel is really different. Makes you think more like an old fashioned than a very strong and sweet digestif because of the sugar content that's really lower than a traditional stinger. To my opinion, it suits my palate better. I love it. Then you get a lot of spices from the bitter and also from the oil. And all these flavors that are in both ingredients are pairing perfectly with the cognac, the fernet, and the creme de mint. I love it. I hope you will love it too. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.